radio shield to safely explore and canalize the future space frontiers. In 1969, man left the Earth, our home, to reach the moon for the first time. This momentous step exposed the humans to a radiation environment outside of Earth's magnetosphere. But between Apollo 16 and Apollo 17, in August 1972, a big solar storm hit the Earth. Had there been astronauts on the moon, they would have been in mortal danger. In 1972, man left the moon and has never since departed Earth's magnetosphere. If we want to expand humankind civilization on the moon, Mars and other planets, we need to learn how to protect astronauts from space radiation. Lead is the most commonly used material for radiation shields, yet it's too heavy for use in space application. Our idea consists of employing cyanobacteria as radiation shield. Cyanobacteria are primitive photosynthetic prokaryotes that are able to resist extremely harsh condition. Let's focus on radiation absorption of different materials. First, we have the lead shield, which offers high attenuation, but it's very heavy and expensive. Then, we have the aluminum layer, typical of spacecraft cover, with low efficiency, low cost, and low weight. And finally, we have the bios, or cyanobacteria colony, with very high efficiency, low cost, low weight, and it also offers other benefits. This is our project, the Radio Shield. This aluminium external coil is entirely hermetic and sterile, and it covers all the components. Here you can see in blue the microcomputer core, in yellow the power battery, and in pink the silicon scintillators. Then we have in black the microprocessor, and in grey the support structure. In violet the reference aluminium shield, and in red the cyanobacterial radiation shield. This is the part we want to test. Radio shield could be the solution for guaranteeing astronauts' safety and self-sufficient environment of future colonies or during long-stay travels and, above all, facilitate man's triumphant return to the moon. Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it, from Team Space for Life, over and out.